Hey guys, welcome back. So I have a really small book haul for you today. I think it's a total of four books. Uh, one I purchased at work and got a package in the mail. I thought I'd just go ahead and open on camera. Um, but before I get, begin, I just kind of want to give a shout out to one of you uh, who happened to stop by at Half Price Books where I work and said hello. Uh, I believe your name was Grace. I hope I have that correctly. So uh, hi Grace. Thanks for stopping in and saying hi. I think it was just a chance encounter. She kind of came up to the counter to make a purchase and said, you have a YouTube channel, don't you? And it was just so unexpected that it's only happened like three times, which is still very surprising for um, for that to even occur, um, you know, in this huge world. What are the what are the chances that uh, someone who happens to watch my channel happens to, to stop in? So, yeah. So, hi, and thank you for uh, stepping in and saying hi and uh, letting me know you watch my channel. So, I appreciate that. So, anyway, on to the book haul. I'll just start with the first one, uh, which is just a, a book I picked up at work, which is kind of a theme of the rest of this book haul. And it's uh, Shirley Jackson's Life Among the Savages. Uh, this is sort of a memoir of her growing up and raising children, and I think it's the first of two books that she put out. Um, I, forgot the, I forgot what the other one is called now, but I'm looking to kind of read my way through all of her uh, books. Oh, Raising Demons is the other, which I think she's referring to her children. Um, that's her other nonfiction book. So I think she has only written like six novels, but like 200 plus short stories. So I'm trying to literally work my way through all of them. Um, currently, uh, just going over what I do have, um, I have her 1951 novel, Hangs a Man, which I believe is her second book that came out. Uh, I own Bird's Nest. That came out in, um, 1954. And then Sundial, 1958. I have not read any of those yet. Um, uh, the Haunting of Hill House came out in 1959. I have read this one, in which they based the movie on as well. And then one of my favorites, We Have Always Lived in the Castle, that came out in 1962. And this is just an amazing cover, first of all. Uh, I like I like the Penguin um, Black Spine Editions. Um, I wish they were all kind of like that. I think I might pick one up for Haunting of the Hill House, but I've got to keep this one because this is just super cool. And the other one I also own is... Um, the Lottery. Uh, this is a collection of short stories. The Lottery is like her most well-known one. It's like only 12 pages and it's like right at the end, but I'm working my way through the rest of the short stories. I've read like I think the first first three so far and then the Lottery at the end. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a theme of what's in this package, so let's go ahead and open it up. Yeah, there's three of them in here. Okay, so first one up is uh, The Road Through the Wall. This one is her first novel. It came out in 1948. Uh, yeah, powerful first novel, most controversial short story ever. She's the author of the most controversial short story ever published, which is referring to the lottery. If you've not read it, I recommend it. Um, so this one, I'll just give you a synopsis of these. It just says, Welcome to Pepper Street. It's a really nice, safe California neighborhood. The houses are tidy and the lawns are neatly mowed. Of course, the country club is close by. And lots of pleasant folks live here. The Miriams, the Fieldings, the Robertses the Ransom Joneses, and the Desmonds, just to name a few. The only problem is they knocked down the wall at the end of the street to make way for a road to a new housing development. Now that's not good, not with summer vacation starting and the kids all running around. It's just not good at all. In the chilling debut novel that launched her heralded career, Shirley Jackson satirically explores what happens when a smug suburban neighborhood is breached by awful, unavoidable truths. <laughs> that sounds interesting. Um... Next, I think are, these are both like collections of short stories. Let me just double check this. Yeah, that one's a bunch. Classic short stories and an unfinished novel. Okay. Um, and I'm sure these came out sporadically uh, throughout her, her writing career. Um, this particular collection is called Dark Tales. Uh, and in it, what do we have? Well, rather than read it up the whole list, I'll just hold that up to you so you can see the short stories inside. Um, yeah, I don't think so. The lottery is just not in here at all. Possibility of evil in the summer people. Uh, both unsettling tales, deliciously dark stories. Um, I just I just love her stuff. And the other one I got is Come Along With Me, classic short stories and an unfinished novel. So that sounds pretty intriguing. Let's see which short stories are in here. And this is edited I see this one says, edited by Stanley Edgar Hyman, which is her husband. Um, oh, wow. Okay, this has uh, 14 stories, three lectures with two stories. Oh, the lottery's in here as well. Uh, no 
that's the young writer, biography, etc. So that's the contents on that one. So yeah, um, Shirley Jackson is just like one author, like, uh, like I said, that I would like to read her entire uh, collection of work. So um, <laughs> this is basically uh, what I have kind of in the order of at least the novels releases. These through here, and then collections of short stories, and then autobiography. So I still have the other autobiography to get to, and whatever other collections of short stories that she has uh, published. And I'd like to read my way, th way through them. Uh, in addition to Shirley Jackson, I'd also like to read the entire catalog of Daphne du Maurier, which is much longer, much more extensive, uh, but that'll take some time. Um, I, I'm not one to kind of like say, this year I'm going to read this entire thing. Um, I just kind of read when I feel like it, what I feel like it. So I'm not sure how soon I'll get to these. I, I am kind of itching to pick up one of her books. So maybe maybe sooner than I think, but uh, we'll see. But if you have read any of her, her novels, what do you think of her as an author? Um, do you have any favorites particularly? Uh, are you interested in reading her? Uh, if you want to just get a little snippet of what kind of her writing is like. Uh, We've Always Lived in the Castle is just one of my all-time favorites. Uh, that unreliable narrative is just, and it's just got a really creepy feel. You're unsettled the whole time. You don't quite know how to take this character. And The Lottery, too, is just a really great quick insight into, you know, just one sitting, you know, a few, you know, 15, 20 minutes, you'll finish it because it's, it's a pretty fast read. But if you're ready, let me, let me know what you think of her as an author, and uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.